guys. <clears throat> John here, Motor T-Scale Models. So the next kit I'm going to work on is going to be this Atlantis kit. This is 1957 Cadillac Eldorado, Eldorado Brom. <clears throat> now, this will be my very first Atlantis kit to put together. Um, I've seen these advertised. I've actually, actually never seen one um, in person. So I saw this kit. Oh, sorry about that. I saw this kit and decided that I wanted to try it and see how it goes. Some of you guys may be more from, or some of you guys may be very familiar with the Atlantis. Uh, I've never put one together, so uh, I've done Ravel, I've done Monogram, I've done AMT. Um, so I figured I would try this one and. Uh, see how it goes so um, it seems to be uh, a really nice uh, subject to put together as far as uh, the uh, Cadillac um, the box art is very nice on this in my opinion um, this kit is a 125th scale skill level 2 um, and if you take a look on the back it shows it has some other uh, kits that they put out other uh, options that they have out there and some of them look pretty good I sure wouldn't mind trying some of them uh, we'll see how this kit goes um, and uh, decide whether I'll build another one again so this is a 2022 uh, Atlantis toy release uh, so it's a fairly new kit. Um, the overall length of this, when it's built, is eight inches, eight inches eleven sixteenths. Uh, there's like 47 parts to it. It's it's designed to be in what they call Dakota red, or that's what they're they're showing on the box art is Dakota red. Um, so um, we will see how it goes. So give me just a second and we will take the wrapping off and see what's inside the box. Hold on guys. All right guys, so let's see what's inside the box. So the first thing is the clear glass that they offer. Uh, I mean really not a whole lot to it. You got your windshields and probably your Maybe your tail lights here. I'll have to take a look and see. Um, the fact that it doesn't come wrapped in plastic is kind of unusual for me, but that's all right. Uh, it's in really good shape. Uh, very thick, not flimsy. Uh, so we'll set it to the side. Okay. So here are your decals, and that's all you get. It looks like maybe some center cap decals the uh, white wall rims and then a couple license plates and that is the extent of that all right so the chrome it does come wrapped in plastic not a lot to the chrome uh, front bumper rear bumper uh, license plate bezel uh, the the front Cadillac the, uh, emblem, the V that comes on the front of the hood, your headlights. Now this doesn't give you the option to put clear lights in there, so they're they're one whole piece, just all chromed. And then you have your hubcaps. So that is the extent of your chrome. Uh, all right. So then we have the parts which all come in one big bag so let's see what all we have inside the bag here hold on just a second I'm gonna dump these out of the box and see what we open there okay so you have your <coughs> you have your hood which it's off well it's, now it is off so, I don't know if you can see this or not, but 
That is very unusual carpeting, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure I'm crazy about that, but oh well. Um, but that's your interior tub. The hood that goes over the interior. So it looks like it might be a two-piece body. Oh man. So this is a curbside kit. No ability to see inside where the motor is. So this ain't going to take very long at all to put this thing together. Uh, not crazy about the curbside, but I see a lot of guys take curbsides and do fantastic work with them. So we will take a look at that and see what we can do. All right. So here's the bottom part of the curbside. So, hmm. Some more of your body parts right here. Oh wow, plastic wheels. Now I'm not real thrilled about that. Not very thrilled at all about that. Hmm. Atlantis just went down a little bit in my... Oh, well, you get a dude with it though, so that might not be too bad. Interior panels. Looks like he's got a cummerbund on. Maybe he's a young guy getting ready to go to the prom. He's wearing some type of tuxedo with a corsage or a, yeah. Wow. Look at the flashing on that. What else we got here? Seats. Uh, oh. But you got your little female that's going to go with you. Huh. Well, that came off. Uh, dashboard. Uh, maybe some part of the back seat of the the back of the front seat I would believe so let's see what else we have in here Oop. the other half of the female we have the dash top whatever you want to call that and your rear axle and that's it for the parts. I'm not sure if that's part I'll take a look at. All right, so let's look at the instructions. So this is kit H1244. Uh, gives you some information here. Different colors that you can use. Uh, what they recommend. There's six, there's actually five parts to the car, five uh, instructions for the car, and then you have one for the guy and the girl. So if you're into, build, if you're into doing the um, um, figures, I guess this would be a good way to get started. Um, but... I don't know. Okay. So anyway, like I said, I never built one of these kits before. We're going to throw it together and we're going to see how we can do with it, see what we can do to try to make this thing look pretty good. Um, hopefully I can uh, um, do a good job. Like I said, I know I see a lot of you guys out there doing curbsides, and I guess that's what you'd call this is a curbside since you can't do the motor. Um, but we will see what we can do and try to make this thing look somewhat good all right guys so we'll be back 
in a minute. guys so this kit was not easy to go to together as you can see I've got a line and this doesn't close up anymore so um, and it's on both sides so that's the best I could get it to do uh, that was a pain in the backside to get that to close down 
but uh, well, this is where we're at so far. So I'm gonna do some little bit of work, and we'll see where we're at from here. All right, guys. So I have finished the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldoran Brom. I'm sorry, Eldorado Brom. Um, this is a, in my opinion, and I'm gonna say in my opinion, this is a very very crappy kit to put together uh, and I'll explain why uh, as you can see um, in this area right here I had a bit of a body gap that I couldn't close up and I tried covering it up with a little bit of uh, chrome uh, but if you get looking close you can see there's a body gap um, the actual if you take a look here the actual hood doesn't fit on the car as you can see here uh, it doesn't mold around the car um, I mean I've tried just about every way I can get it um, if you get it even on the back side it still doesn't fit on the car it's like it's like it's off so uh, that's a problem um, again the wheels were plastic I had to paint the wheels uh, as you can see here the back seat is supposed to drop back and touch right there so you can't see the big gap in the back seat but I could not get it to go in there to save my life it just would not and I'm sure it's probably me uh, but um, I couldn't get it to go in there for anything. Um, it is not a kit that I would purchase. It's not a kit that I would recommend to anyone um, to build. Uh, I did not enjoy building this kit. Um, I had never built an Atlantis kit before as far as the cars. Um, you know, this is a... Um, this is skill level two. There's no motor to it. I mean, this this is basically what you call curbside, I would guess. As far as the underneath, um, it is very simplistic. Um, it just is not not one that I'll ever buy again to to uh, to do. Um, not not fun. Uh, you do get these little people here. Uh, but I'm not going to paint them. I went ahead and put them together. I don't know what I'll use them for, but I absolutely am not going to paint them. Um, I mean, it's, as you can see, it's just, uh, I guess in my opinion, I think it's a very, very cheaply done kit as far as the build or the, the making of it. It's very cheap. Um, you got a lower part, you got an upper part that that goes on each other. Uh, the lines didn't match up. Um, as you can tell, it's it's just none of this right here. I mean, I guess maybe if I, well, I can't even do that. Um, just none of it is matching up. So uh, I did the best I could with it. I'm sure people out there probably make them look like they're brand new, and that's fine. I appreciate that. Um, You know, I try not to trash talk models because I think it's really up to the model to do the very best that he can with it. But um, in this particular one, I'm going to trash talk this model. Um, I just don't think it was a very, very well designed model. As you can see here on the side, I'll, you can see the body gap. I could have filled it in with putty. But I'd elected to not do that. Um, I didn't want to put that much effort into this kit, to be honest with you. I mean, um, I probably could have put a little bit more effort into it, but I just said, you know what? It gave me a whole bunch of problems putting it together uh, as far as getting things to line up. Um, I don't know if you can see here on the front of this one. Let me see if I can zoom it in. I mean, look at the body gap right there. 
and I did everything I could to close that up. Uh, it just absolutely would not close up. So, anyway. So that's it. That's the completion of my version of the Atlantis, uh, Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brom. Um, again, I think my biggest complaint on this, uh, I paid, I think the retail on it was, was $25. 24 something I believe um, and I don't me personally I don't think this kit was worth that much uh, I pay that much for a Revell or a AMT um, but to pay that much for this I just I was very disappointed anyway um, I know there's some people out there going to say oh, that's a good kit and that's fine I, I appreciate that I, I couldn't do no better with it um but um, if any of you guys have built these, you got pictures, let me see. Um, you know, maybe maybe it was just me. Uh, maybe I'm just, uh, I struggle too much on this one. Anyway, all right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next build. Again, uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of future videos, and uh, hit the share button, let other people uh, see the video, and I can go see what they, when they come to my channel and, and view the video, I can go to theirs, take a look, see what they're doing. Uh, if you are a current member, hey guys, appreciate y'all supporting me and, and all the model cars that I built and all the positive and even the negative, um, not very many, but some negative, um, comments that are they're sending in I, I use those to try to make myself to be, be a little bit better car modeler or model builder i guess you call it anyway all right guys we will talk to you later